Hi everybody, it's Bonnie Jean from BonnieJean.com. Welcome back to today's video. In today's video, I want to show you how you can make spinning icons inside of Microsoft PowerPoint. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because some time ago I made another video to show you how to make spinning icons for your Camtasia video. But a lot of people did not have Camtasia, but they still wanted to incorporate the spinning icons at the end of their video. So today I'm going to show you another way to get that done, and it's through Microsoft PowerPoint. So what I'm referring to are these icons right here on the screen when they play, how they spin. Now I can't get them to do that exact same thing inside of Microsoft PowerPoint, but I can make spinning icons. So I want to show you how to get that done. So the first thing that you need to do is go inside of your Microsoft PowerPoint, click on File, and say New, and click a blank presentation. Once you have that, we want to go over here to Design. Go to the page setup and set this up for a high definition video. So set this to 13.34 times 7.5 and, and say OK. That will spread the screen here now. So now we have a high definition screen for when we export this out. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all this stuff inside here. And I'm going to delete it because I don't need it. And I want to place a colored background on my main file here. So in order to do that, I'm going to go up to View, and then I'm going to click Slide Master View. And I'm going to go to the very first master in here, and I'm going to right click on that screen and say Format Background. And I'm going to make a gradient fill. Now I want my gradient fill to be the colors of my header in my website. So that's what I've set this up. So in order to, you can make a solid fill if that's what you want and just pick any color and make it a solid fill background. But I want the gradient fill, so I'm going to you know, set mine up accordingly. So in order to do that, you click on here and pick the file that you want. And then set the last color. And in my case, it is a custom color, which is my teal. And that's 153 by 153 and I say OK and I want to make the black come down the screen a little bit more maybe about 20 percent and then say OK then close it by hitting this button and we're back to our main screen so now we have the background set up for our file and the next thing we want to do is add some text so we're going to go up here to insert and say a text box and paint one on the screen here and I want to make the text bigger and white so we can see it. Come on. <laughs> it's going to be difficult now. Maybe it's size 60. Highlight this so it's white. And I want to change my font style to this one. You'll have to pick one that's on your system. And I'm going to stretch this on the screen so it's sits right in the center and then I'm going to type in what I wanted to say and then I'm going to put it in the center so okay there's our title so I want people to share this so that's exactly what it says please now the next thing we need to do is we need to incorporate the graphics that we want to spin on our screen so again go back up to insert picture and then find the graphics that you want to incorporate on your computer. So I want to incorporate Facebook, hold down the control key, click on Google, hold down the control key, and pick on Twitter. And then hit insert. And that inserts all those images into my document. So now I want to size these images so that they are the same size and I want to center them on my screen here somewhat. So let's right click on top of that Google image, tell it to go to the size and change the size to 0 0.83 and I want it that way on both sides and say close. I'm going to center this and I'm going to do the same thing for these other two icons. Right click on them, size and position, change the size to 0 0.83, make sure it's that way for the width and the height and then again for my Facebook image
Now the next thing that I'll do is make sure that I have these files somewhat situated on the screen here so they are in close proximity of each other. And sometimes I will double check by getting up really close and personal. And then I will go up to the top again and I will say insert a shape. I'll take a rectangle here and I will paint it on the screen to make sure that all three of these icons are even with one another and they are. And I will turn this the other way and I will put them in between one another to make sure that they are the close proximity and they are and they're just fine. So then we'll go back up here to view and tell it to fit our window again. So now Another thing that you want to make sure that you do is you want to make sure that you save your Microsoft PowerPoint file as you're working on it. So go up to file and, and do a save as and, and make sure that you're, you know, saving it. That way, you know, if your computer dies or whatever, you still have the work that you've already done up to this point. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to add animation to these three images. So I'm going to click on the first image. And up at the top of the screen here, I'm going to click Animations. And I'm going to choose an animation for this file. So the one that I want is called Spinner. But I don't see that here. So I'm going to go to the bottom here. Let me move this over so you can see better. Spinner is not in here for my entrance. So I'm going to go to More Entrance Effects and I'm going to look for the box that says spinner and I'm going to click on that and say OK. And now you can see that Microsoft PowerPoint applied that to this button and you'll know that by the number one that's designated there. So if I hit the play button over here, let me move this over, if I hit this play button you'll see that the Facebook icon now spins. That's cool. But I want to apply that effect to the Google Plus and the Twitter as well. So what I'll do is I'll click again on the Facebook. I'll go up here to the top of the screen that says Animation Painter. And I will click that and I will come down here for Facebook. And see how when I put my mouse over top of Facebook I get the little uh, crosshairs. But when I put it over Google I get a paintbrush. So click the Google icon and now it apply that animation to that file as well. And I will do the same thing, go back up to Animation Painter and now paint that onto the Twitter icon as well. So now all three icons have the spinning attribute. If I click the play button here, you can see that they all spin on the screen. Now pretty much at this point you're done unless you want to change how slow or how fast they, they uh, spin and when they spin on the screen. So the next thing I want to do here is I want to click on Facebook. I'm going to go over to the top here. Make sure that it's showing. Let's go up higher. And right here where it says on click, I want to change that to with previous. So as soon as this file opens up, I want that file to play. So I'm going to click on Google now and I want Google to do the same thing. I want it to work the same time the Facebook image does. So I'm going to hit with previous. And I'm going to apply that to the Twitter instead of it working on click and I want it to work with previous. So now if I play them again, they all come out at the same time. And that's exactly what I want. So at this point, it is done. All we need to do now is save this file once again and then produce our video. So go up here to file and say save. And now I want to go to save and send. Okay, and I want to pick video from the menu. So I'm going to here create a video, click on that. And I want to make sure that I pick the computer high definition display, which is 1280 by 720. And then click the create video button. And that will open up a box and, and it will ask you where you want to save that video to your system. So I'm just going to save it here inside of my video section, call this test icons, and hit save. 
and Microsoft PowerPoint will get busy and create that WMV file for you. And then what you can do is you can take that WMV file and incorporate it into your video editing software and put it at the end of your videos. So we'll show you how to do that in another video. So until then, you take care, be safe, have fun, and I'll talk to you soon.